everybody, this is Layla Grand um, coming to you from my bedroom where I've been here about a week with a cold, not feeling really well. So it's really appropriate that today I'll be reading to you a devotional called Flourishing Strength. Um, it's from the book Lord Help Me to Flourish that I co-authored with Natalie Villeneuve. Um, this devotional begins with a painting she did of a lady in red. She's pushing into the storm. This is the story behind it. At the time I was writing this, I was struggling with a lot of joint pain and generalized weakness. Um, so I finally made an appointment to see my doctor. When the doctor entered the room, um, she asked, so what's the problem? My response was, do you have a bucket? Puzzled, she looked up at me. I made a large circle with my arms and I said, so I can dump all my problems. She laughed and then I added, no, seriously. <laughs> a few days later, I fell and broke my left hand. That posed a problem because I'm left-handed and I'm a writer. It was definitely not a season of strength for me. I'm sure you, got, you guys can relate. <laughs> I was feeling rather discouraged. How was I gonna manage all of life's responsibilities, cooking and cleaning, caring for my family with one hand? So here I was typing this devotional with one finger, feeling frustrated and weak and trying to make sense of the verse from 2 Corinthians 12, 10 that echoed in my head that says, for when I am weak, then I am strong. What does that really mean? I didn't feel strong. I don't feel strong right now. The dictionary defines weakness as the condition of lacking strength, a quality or feature that quality or feature regarded as a disadvantage or a fault. Well, I think God's definition would read like this: a condition of fragility that teaches us to rely on God, not regarded as a fault or a fragility, but rather an asset that reveals the power of God in our lives. As I looked longer at the painting of the lady in red, I couldn't help but admire how she was leaning into the storm, pressing on, determined to reach her goal. And I wondered, where did she find her strength? And then I thought about the palm tree. Did you know that when the tropical storms come and unleash their mighty winds, the palm tree is usually the only one left standing. The palm tree will bend and sway, but it just won't break. You know why? The roots of the average plant only go down a few feet, but the roots of a palm tree, they go down hundreds of yards in search of water. That's what flourishing strength is. When we dig our roots deep into God's love in search of Him and His love for us, that's when we get strength. The psalmist writes in Psalm 92, the, right, the godly will flourish like the palm tree and grow strong like the cedar of Lebanon. That's the kind of strength I want to have. As I looked longer at the painting and looked at the umbrella, I thought that's a really good visual for flourishing strength because as we take shelter under the umbrella of God's love, that's when we find the strength to press on. So press on, dear friends, past the courage, past the pain. We really can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Take care. Mm -hmm.